Hi everybody, Dr. Spade is here. I'm doing another quick video. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I've been reversing diabetes for years. People come see me because they really want to get down to the cause of diabetes and why they're a diabetic and actually do something about it, especially naturally. So anyway, today I'm answering a question that people ask me quite a bit and I think it could actually help you, if, especially if you're a diabetic. So uh, real quick, the diabetic story is the following. Most people on day one do not know they're diabetic. They go to their doctor, they get routine blood work. Uh, the doctor says, listen, unfortunately, you know, you're a diabetic. Uh, they get given uh, a diabetic medication, a blood pressure medication, a cholesterol medication in most cases, and they're told to watch what they eat, lose weight, exercise. Even when someone does all of those things exactly the way they should, most diabetics get worse. They don't need one medication, they need two medications. Then you need, as time goes on, another and another. So what I do is I take a very unique approach where I really figure out why a person's a diabetic. I actually wipe away the label that they are a diabetic and really figure out what's causing it. The way I do that is actually with very, very, very comprehensive labs, right? So in most cases, um, when most doctors run a certain set of labs, I'll run significantly more. Like even in blood alone, I usually run about 33 more tests than, than the average doctor. Um, I also do a spit test and I do stool tests. So the question I usually get is, well, why do you do a spit test if someone's a diabetic, right? Why would that be an important test? And in my opinion, it's probably one of the most important tests. Now, if, if you're watching this and it sounds a little crazy, like, well, I'm a diabetic or I have you know blood sugar problems. My doctor never recommended doing some sort of a saliva test. Um, and I'm not sure why they don't. It's just maybe not the standard or, and, and the way they're trained. But anyway, the way I'm trained in functional medicine is that you really want to uncover what's causing the issues. So the reason why saliva is so important, okay, is because if you have hormone issues, okay, and, and there are many different hormones, including, you know, male hormones, female hormones, and another hormone called cortisol, uh, they directly affect blood sugar levels, okay? And there is no way someone could regulate their blood sugars if their hormones are out of whack, right? Uh, some people see this when they get a some sort of a steroid shot, right? They start seeing their numbers go crazy, right? They start seeing their numbers go really high, and that's because hormones... Uh, directly and indirectly affect blood sugar levels. So when you do a saliva test, it allows me to have a better picture of, of what's going on. Another thing a saliva test is actually pretty interesting, uh, which, it, which it does, it answers the question of, some people wake up in the morning and their blood sugar levels are really high, but they don't really know why. They're saying, listen, unless I went and slept, walk, and went to the kitchen in the middle of the night and had cake and cookies, it makes no sense. I didn't eat for all these hours I was asleep. Why, am I, why is my blood sugar level an issue in the morning? Well, this sort of test allows me to see really what's going on and uncovering it, uh, which gives me real answers on how to actually help someone uh, improve their blood sugar and you know, hopefully lessen medication with their doctor's help. So anyway, I hope you understand um, a little bit more of a different approach. If you'd like more information about what I do and how I reverse diabetes, uh, you'll see a link to the webinar, um, or if you want to work with me, there should be a link with that as well. All right, so anyway, um, I hope you got something out of this. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.